Good morning, Jamie here with more Gutenberg tips and tricks. So I know a lot of you out there are designers who potentially don't code or don't want to learn to code. And I'm gonna show you how you can now sell your designs and make money with WordPress without having to learn to code. It's all around block patterns. They're a really big opportunity for anyone out there that's a designer. And I'm gonna show you how you can create block, I'm gonna explain what block patterns are, how you can create, create um, your own block patterns and then also how you can sell your block patterns as well. So I hope you find it useful, here we go. Right, first, a simple explanation of what block patterns are. Essentially, they're just a collection of blocks uh, that you can then reuse on other pages or on other websites. That's what makes them really, really interesting that you're there. you can move them between websites. So you can create your designs over here and then use them on any web uh, website. But essentially, they're just a collection of blocks. They're like a template essentially that you can create. So it's like creating your own block templates. So this is the page that I've created that I'm gonna show you basically how they work. And this is just a masonry layout that I've created just using the core Gutenberg block. So no third party plugins. And if you wanna see how I did this, then check out my channel because I show you how to create a, this layout. It's pretty straightforward. But what I really wanna show you is what Gutenberg is doing under the bonnet. So we can see the code view in Gutenberg at all times by clicking on these three dots in the top right and then clicking on code editor here. And that's gonna show us basically what Gutenberg is doing under the bonnet for us. And can you see it's just creating all this code? And that's essentially all that code is a block pattern. So if I copied that, all that code, and use that, I could then use that on another website to recreate uh, this exact same layout. So that's kind of the theory behind block patterns, they're collections of blocks that then you can reuse in different places on, on different websites. And you can imagine if you're a designer, you could you know, you know could create some beautiful designs within the Gutenberg block editor, which you could then sell to your customers, or you could you know, you know could give them access to the library of designs. There's lots of, there's lots of ways that you can think about monetizing this or building loyalty into your um, customers if you're an agency, for example. So let me just show you how you can actually, so you create your you create your designs in Gutenberg and then you can copy basically um, all the content. There's an option here to copy all the content and that'll just save it to that clipboard. And then you can basically uh, use that on any website. So this is the website, if you look up here, 18tags.com that I've copied it from. And if I go to the different website, Social Press, and go add new page, this is just to prove it works so you can, you can move designs between websites. And then I can literally just paste that in. And can you see how it's brought in that design? <clears throat> It'll look slightly different potentially in your theme. It should look fairly close when I publish this. This is just because different themes handle Gutenberg in slightly different ways. But can you see there's my pretty much identical to the design that I, you know, I've copied from a completely different website. So hopefully you can imagine you can create the designs and then you can basically offer them or sell them to your customers. So it, as a not as a non-coder. There's no limit now. You can actually, you know, you're kind of free to, to do this stuff. There is actually also WordPress on WordPress.org. There is a block pattern directory where you can see these are all free. Uh, and they're, you know, there's some nice stuff on here, but they're quite simple. So I can imagine this stuff is going to get um, more and more um, elegant and complex as we go along the Gutenberg journey. And especially if you're a great designer or a designer, you, 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 you can use your own imagination to build these designs, okay? So that's the that's the first thing. And on here, you can come on here and you can just copy these. So if I wanna use this one, for example, I can just copy it, go to any website, let's go back here, and I can just literally paste that design in and there it is. So you can hopefully see how easy it is uh, for your customers to copy a design and then use it on your sites. And I think the fact that it's easy and completely frictionless is a really, really key thing. So they're not having to install extra plugins to do this. They can literally see designs on a page, click copy, and use them on their own websites, which leads us me on to something where we've kind of started to develop. So let me show you this. So this is one idea that I'm toying with at the moment. So it'd be great to get your feedback on whether you, you know, you'd like us to continue developing this, but this is something we've we've built very um, in the last couple of weeks because I think there's going to be you know the first bit is quite easy as you can see that you can create your designs in Gutenberg you can copy them but then it's the delivery mechanism to your customers that potentially if you're a non-coder you might need help with so this is something we've built and this is the same sort of idea that they have on the WordPress 
.org website, but this will allow you basically to sell your designs or offer your designs to your customers easily. And what we've done here is um, created our own version of the WordPress.org button. Okay, because I think this this reducing friction for your customers is going to be the key thing. So this this is an example where we've created the same design, and imagine your customers will come to a page on your website where you might have lots of these designs, and they'll just see the option here to copy the masonry grid pattern or buy it. You know, or sell it, and they they can literally copy this. And it'll copy that to that clipboard. And again, I can go to a different website. So let me just check I'm not cheating. This is Social Press. Let me go to this website. And now I can literally just paste that in. And there we go. It's just pasted in that new new design. So you can see how completely frictionless this is, this is potentially for your, for your customers. The way we've actually built this at the moment is we've written some um, custom JavaScript to do this stuff. But I might turn it if if enough people are interested in in it, because I think that there's a big opportunity here for for you to create your own designs. If you want us to create a, a plugin to make this easier to use on your own sites, let me know in the comments if, if you think that's interesting. Now, there's a number of ways that you could potentially monetize this. You could either, you know, I've thought of kind of two to start with that you might want to think about. You might want to give your um, customers access to you know a, a library of your designs uh, that you make accessible to your customers so you could have some sort of membership model and uh, if, you, if you're using WordPress for your your websites is that there's you know a whole host of membership plugins you could use um, to make these accessible and then you could use this button within the membership section of the website so again it's very frictionless for your customers to come and grab a design and then use it on their own websites the other way that I, I can see that potentially you might want to use this is just to sell sell these as a one-off. So you might have a shop on your website where customers can come here and instead of saying um, copy, as this is about to do when I reload it, you know, copy here, it might say buy and then they can buy it directly and copy it directly as well. So there we go. There's a few thoughts on how you can now start to think about making money with WordPress if you're not a coder. I hope you find that useful. Um, let me know in the comments any thoughts you have because this is an ongoing thing that we're thinking about developing as well in terms of this button and this functionality. If you have any more ideas, stick them in the comments as well. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the subscribe button because we're focusing a lot on uh, the Gutenberg Block Editor at the moment. And if you can give it a like, I would really appreciate it. And that's all for me today and I'll see you soon.